with meteorologist Rob Ellis with more on the dangerous temperatures this holiday weekend. Yeah, and it doesn't look to let up anytime soon. It's going to stay cold for quite a while. Let's take you outside. Live picture right now. We do see, for the most part, we've had mostly clear skies the second half of the day. Unfortunately, that means the temperatures are going to drop pretty quickly, and we're already pretty chilly. Temperatures single digits or even below zero. It depends on where you are right now. Two at O'Hare, three at Midway, but you see numbers to the north and west already below zero. We're probably going to hover there, although I think we could see some spots get down to minus five. The winds are going to pick up and bring in even colder air for the next couple of days. So our forecast for tonight, yeah, I've got a big fat zero, unfortunately, for you, but I think some spots are going to get down colder than that, maybe by as much as five to 10 degrees. The wind chill makes it feel so much colder. Here's a look at current wind chill numbers, minus 10 to minus 15, even minus 20 for a few spots, and they are going to get colder over the next couple of nights. Wind chill advisories in place, and they're going to stay with us a few nights. We also have some wind chill warnings a little farther to the west. Again, those wind chill values really going to pick up in the overnight hours or go down, I should say, minus 15 to minus 25 in a few spots. And you do this every single day. The wind chills probably will not get above zero for New Year's Eve. As we head into New Year's Day, we're starting with temperatures at zero for midnight, so pretty much where they are right now. And we don't see temperatures get above 20 for the entire seven day forecast. Look at the numbers here. Pair of minus fives. These numbers could be on the high side. We could see some minus 10 to minus 15 values. And look at the numbers for the extended uh, forecast here. We're talking staying in the teens through Saturday. All right. Thank you, Rob. Yeah.